have developed some techniques or some idea by which they can favor the cross pollination and less favor or uh, you can say discourage discourage the autogamy discourage the self pollination clear this will be the discourage the self pollination are you getting or not so like i am telling some example nature already provided one example is the heterostyly heterostyly just a bit this is not fine hetero hetero styly this is one second is the protandry protandry another is the protogyny protogyny another is the another is the uh, what you can say that uh, mm, yes hercogamy hercogamy clear herco gamonosis that will be the diocese okay diocesis clear so these are the uh, techniques acquired by the natures or you can say this is the way by which pollen grains or plants they have ability to encourage the cross pollination discourage autogamy means self pollination encourage which type of pollination cross pollination so heterostyly protogyny protandry head hercogamy and diocesis plants they favors the cross pollination okay what is the heterostyly heterostyly means the length of filament the length of filament is going to vary okay heterostyly means sometimes what happen one plants is very large suppose that this is the flower this is the okay this is the flower in the uh, stigma that is the base of this you can say receptacle and receptacle they bears the flower they bears the flower okay and another one is the uh, structure which is known as the uh, that here male flower okay this is the normal thing i am drawing here this is the male flower what happened heterostyly means the length of style clear the length of a style style stigma ovary it is going to vary clear it is only vary so heterostyly means male flower is very large male flower length is very large female flower is very short so when the pollen grain release pollen grains blown away by the wind okay for the cross pollination so it will not favor the albage self pollination because the distance between male and female flower is very much so always favors the cross pollination is it okay heterostyly cross pollination is it clear is it okay yes hemlata is it fine to all of you yes sir very good yes, sir. very good monisha yes, very good okay yes sir we, yes yes nivedha clear so means heterostyly means the length of the male and female flower is going to vary what happen if the length and male uh, length of male and female flower is going to vary this will favors the alvage cross pollination it will never favors the self pollination or autogamy another is the protandry and the terminology they have given the protandry protandry means the male flower the male flower become mature first male flower mature male flower mature firstly okay male flower mature firstly are you getting or not male flower it will be come mature first then female flower suppose that the male flower is mature they have released their pollen grain but female flower not mature it will uh, the pollen grain will try to come but female flower will not open it will so i am not open okay the female flower is not mature but male flower is the mature so in this way you can say the uh, time is it will take the time so in between pollen grains can't wait pollen grains will move from here to there it will move from that plant to another plants because 
pollen grains need to the stigma for the receptive and for the pollination phenomenon. Okay. So protandry means when the male flower mature first and female flower later. So this is called the protandry. And protandry also always favors the cross pollination and discourage self pollination. Okay. And there one protogyny. That is the protogyny. Okay. Protandry here they have given another is the protogyny. Protogyny means female flower become mature first and then male flower. Are you getting? Male flower become means it will mature later in compared to female flower. Okay. So protogyny means proto means primitive. Primitive means firstly. So firstly, female mature become uh, sorry, female flower become mature. Then second is the male. Okay, so protogyny means female, female flower. I'm writing here, just look at them. Female flower, female flower mature, female flower mature firstly. Female flower mature firstly, after that, female flower mature firstly, after that. Uh, male flower. Okay, after that female male flower. So this is called the protogyny. So protogyny also favors the cross pollination. Means it will be the you can say it will overcome the inbreeding depression because I told already. Me, herpogamy means uh, suppose that this is the male flower. Just wait one second. I'm trying. This is the female flower and this is the male flower. What happened? Male flower, if they born, suppose that here male flower born. Okay. Now here male flower born. This male flower born and this male flower pollen grain. If you'll see the distance between female flower and male flower. So here the distance between male flower and female flower is that too much. Are you getting the distance between male and female flower is the too much? Uh, sorry, that you can say diocese. Diocese means sex is separated. If the male plant is the separate and female plant is the separate, then always it causes the genetic exchanges. Okay, genetic variation takes place. Clear? This always causes the genetic variation because the plant is the different. Male plant is different and female plant is the different. Is it fine? Is it fine? So listen, in some species, pollen release and stigma receptivity are not synchronized. I told already, not synchronized. That condition you can say, uh, protoendry and protogyny. Protoendry and protogyny. Protoendry means in which male uh, male flower become mature first and female later. That have given, if you read in this uh, NCRT, they have not clearly explained, but the sentence saying same thing. Pollen release and stigma receptivity means female flower. Female flower is not mature, not ready to receive. Okay. Are not synchronized. Synchronized means not together mature. Clear? In this way that you can say if the male flower become mature and female does not, this is called the protandry. And just opposite protandry, that will be the protogyny. Female flower mature first, but male flower is not mature. That is called protogyny. So this again. In some species, pollen release, okay, in some species, pollen release and stigma receptive are not synchronized, okay, means stigma will not receive. So that time always favors the cross pollination. Either the pollen is released before the stigma becomes receptive or stigma becomes receptive much before the release of pollen. I told already this is the protandry and protogyny condition. This is in some other species, the anther and stigma are placed in different position. So the pollen cannot come in contact with the stigma of the same flower. Okay. It is talking about the herkogamy. Herkogamy means I told, suppose that this is the male flower. This is the male flower. Okay. And female flower is also there. Sorry, this is female flower, not male. Because the stigma is child ovary, which is found into the female. So this is the female flower. And the one is the male flower. If you'll check the distance, male flower, it will be placed like that. Male flower, it will be placed like this. 
if you see the difference between male and female flower it is very far away if the pollen grain release but pollen grains cannot arrive to the receptive part of this female structure okay this means it cannot arrive or can't reach on the stigma so if can't reach it means it will pollinated by the other pollen grain means it will favors the cross pollination okay it will favors the cross pollination so second is the second you can say in some is other species the anther and stigma are placed in different position both are means both are very far away placed in different position okay or you can say heterostyly length anther will be very large and in stigma that means female uh, you can say pistil or carpel it is very small so in this way the position also is going to vary so are placed in different position so that pollen cannot come contact with the stigma of the same flower in this way this also cause the cross pollination okay in this way it, is, it will also cause the cross pollination okay okay suppose that this is the pollen grain pollen grain what we have seen they have the different pore they have the different pore basically if the pollen pollen seed is the dicot in nature that is called the triculpate triculpate okay triculpate triculpate if the seed uh, sorry if the plant is dicot the pollen grain will be the triculpate triculpate means they have the three germ pore three germ pore okay three germ pore and germ pore we know in the pollen grain where is no deposition of sporopollenin takes place exine exine is the outermost layer of the pollen grain but some places exine there is no deposition of exine takes place that place is known as the culpit or pore okay germ pore that is called the germ pore okay if the flower or plant anything is there if it will be the dicot so they have the triculpit condition and if the plant is monocot if the plant is monocot so they have the which condition monocolpet it have always the monocolpet condition okay so this this is the uh, this is the if this uh, colpet means colpet means pore this pore it will start to germinate they will form the pollen tube okay it will start to germinate which will form the pollen so what happened in third third mechanism it is saying in genetic mechanism and prevents self pollination from the same or other flower of the same plant from fertilizing the ovules by inhibiting the germination of pollen grains means pollen grains pollination over pollination completed okay but after the pollination means post pollination process okay post pollination means germination of pollen grain so pollen grain will not germinate okay or pollen tube growth in the pistil means the pollen tube growth does not takes place if the pollen tube growth does not takes place means fertilization not happened okay the pollen will die ultimately and fertilization never occurred okay it will be uh, another pollen grains will come which have ability to grow the pollen tube and this pollen tube release there eggs inside the embryo sac okay or female gametophyte okay so this is the third mechanism by which we prevent the inbreeding depression or self incompatibility clear okay another device another device to prevent self pollination is the production of unisexual flower i told already diaceous plants example is the papaya diaceous plant this is the fourth criteria diaceous plant diaceous means sexes separated we have already studied in gymnosperm that is pinus cedrus it is the monoecious and branched okay pcb pinus cedrus branch okay so pinus cedrus is the monoecious and branched okay while cycus cycus will be unbranched and it will be the diaceous in nature clear so uh cycus is the diaceous in nature means male cycus separate female cycus separate okay if the this plant are separated if these plants are separated so then it will favors always 
cross pollination because male flower is the different plant female flower presents on the different plant in this way, yes in this way it will always favors the cross pollination yes deepika it will always favors the which type of pollination cross pollination because the plants is dioecious in nature means male flower is the different female flower is the different so it will read another device to prevent self pollination is the production of unisexual flower okay production of unisexual flower okay now if both male and female flower are present on the same plant such as castor and maize papaya sorry castor and maize monoecious and it prevents autogamy but not zygomony clear this plants means monoecious means they they because maize you have to see male flower on the different branch female flower on the different branch in maize they prevent autogamy but zygomony cannot prevent because plant is the same okay so this cannot prevent the zygomony and the example is the papaya i told already papaya is the dioecious male and female flower are present on the different plants that is in plants male and female dioecious this condition prevent both autogamy and zygomony means it always favors the allogamy or zygomony clear it always favors the allogamy or zygomony means in case of the maize in case of the maize maize and castor always favors the zygomony but not autogamy and papaya always favors the allogamy or zygomony means cross pollination okay because this is the monoecious in nature okay so this is the overall about the outbreeding devices okay so in the next class i will talk about the pollen pistil interaction okay so this is the way by which uh, outbreeding devices